Hello everyone. With this video I want to illustrate how to add an Etherpad to your Ilias course and how to use it. An Etherpad is an open source online editor which allows for collaborative editing in real time. That is, you can see the changes as they are happening. An Etherpad is therefore the perfect tool for any kind of group work, for example brainstorming, because everyone can add their thoughts at the same time and everyone can see them. After you have logged into your Elias account, you can see all your classes on your so-called desk. Click on the class you want to access. After accessing the class, you see a list of the objects that are part of this class. To add a new object, click on Neues Objekt hinzufügen. You can find the option Etherpad at the end of this list. When you add an Etherpad, you should give it a title and a short description. Click on Etherpad hinzufügen to add it to this class's objects. There are two things to be aware of. Firstly, the Etherpad is offline by default. To make it accessible to your students, you have to tick off the option online. Save the change. Secondly, go to Rechte to adjust the settings of the user's rights. At least the top two options should be available to everyone to successfully use the Etherpad. These two options are to see the Etherpad and to write in it. Again, save the changes. Now your Etherpad is all set up. You can enter the Etherpad by clicking on the tab in the menu bar. Every user gets assigned a color. When you write, you can also add formatting like bold, cursive and underlined and you can make lists both numbered and unnumbered. If you want to undo the last step you did, you can find the button for this in the menu bar. In the upper right corner you can see all the users that are online right now, including their assigned colors. Apart from writing in the Etherpad, you can also upload a text document into it. Unfortunately, any kind of formatting will be deleted. Layout has to be added inside the Etherpad. Be careful with this button since it deletes all the user's colors. But even if you accidentally deleted them, you can still undo this step. When you are done with your document, you can export it into several different file formats. Here I exported it as a PDF file. The best feature of the Etherpad is that you can work on it at the same time as other users. Via a chat you can communicate about your shared text. The Etherpad is useful for collaborative brainstorming or even joint writing of texts and papers. You can correct each other's mistakes or simply work on the text at the same time. Therefore, the Etherpad is a useful tool, especially for students' group works.